Hi guys, Jamie from Boxing Life and in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Basically I'll be going through Canelo's fights against British fighters where he's got some defining victories on his record against them. At the end of this video I'll reveal my list of what I believe to be his best performances against them. Now as someone who is from the UK I will often see comments about how Canelo has destroyed British fighters and it's coming to the point where he's a bit like Buffy the Vampire Slayer but instead of vampires and demons, it's British fighters. Well, anyone for that matter. Unless you're Floyd. But getting back onto this video on how it'll flow, Canelo has faced seven British fighters to date and I'll go through each fighter chronologically of when he fought them and give you my thoughts on each fight, also give you some breakdown on his tactics and how he would gain victory and then make sure to stick around till the end to see my results for the best performances. So on that note, let's get right into it. Number 1. Matthew Hatton In 2011, Canelo first fought the younger brother of Ricky Hatton, Matthew. At the time of the fight, Canelo was only 20 years old and it was his first world title fight for the WBC Light Middleweight Championship. For Canelo's first world championship fight, he definitely put on an impressive display against Matthew Hatton and put him on the back foot for all 12 rounds with some tremendous combination punching, which somehow Hatton managed to withstand. Alvarez managed to knock down the Brit twice throughout the fight, but didn't really hurt him until the end. All of the judges scored the bout 119 for 108, but he did lose one point after throwing an illegal punch in the seventh round. This is without a doubt the fight where the star of Canelo Alvarez was born, which put him on the map with this fantastic display. Number 2. Ryan Rhodes Soon after the fight with Hatton, he had his first title defence against another Brit and European super welterweight Ryan Rhodes. It would be Alvarez's first title defence in his hometown, Guadalajara, Mexico, with Rhodes, who learned his trade in the famous Ingle boxing gym from Sheffield, would prove to be trickier and much more capable defensively than Hatton was. However, Canelo would continue up from his last performance with some brilliant explosive combination punches, which Rhodes really struggled to defend against. Rhodes would be knocked down in the fourth with an intelligent combo by Canelo. By the 12th round, Rhodes would eventually get hit by another devastating combo, with the ref having to jump in to stop the fight. Rhodes had better moments throughout the fight, but unlike Hatton, did not survive. Number 3. Amir Khan The next Brit to be slayed by Alvarez was of course the silver Olympic champion and former light welterweight world champion, Amir Khan. The fight would be for the Mexicans WBC and Ring Magazine middleweight title, with Khan moving up from the welterweight division at a catch weight of 155 pounds, which Canelo had fought at before. Alvarez, in between his time since his last British fighter, had been defeated by Floyd Mayweather, however still defeated some big names in the likes of Shane Mosley, Austin Trout, Lara and Miguel Cotto, to name a few. Khan came out wanting to use his quick speed and jab against a much more powerful and explosive Canelo. In this fight, Alvarez would have to go on the hunt and slow down the much faster man. He did this in intelligently targeting the body of Khan throughout the rounds with his right hand to the body. Finally, in the sixth round, Khan expecting a right hand to the body would be knocked out in devastating fashion by Canelo, which has been one of his best knockouts in his career. Number 4. Liam Smith now just like in 2011, Alvarez would once again face British fighters back to back, with many still calling out for the Golovkin fight at this point. Canelo would drop down to light middleweight again to challenge for Liam Smith's WBO title. Liam Smith was a more come forward, tougher upcoming fighter for Canelo as they fought at the a and Stadium in Texas in his first big stadium fight. Liam Smith would use a very tight guard to try and get up close to Canelo, facing him head on instead of going on the back foot. Smith would have some successes landing some big shots while the Mexican was up against the ropes, but it was Alvarez's counter punching and body punching that would be the difference as Canelo would manipulate the tight guard of Smith before unleashing some sickening liver shots. Smith fought very well until Canelo eventually stopped him in the ninth with another final body shot. Number 5. Rocky Fielding This would be Canelo's first jump up to super middleweight 
and would challenge for Fielding's WBA regular super middleweight title and also his first fight after defeating Gennady Golovkin. A move up in weight surprised many and we're not too sure what would happen due to Fielding being the much bigger man at 6 foot 1 and Canelo only at 5 foot 9. Well it was clear Rocky could really not stand up to Canelo as the Mexican applied his new pressure fighting style on the man from Liverpool, targeting the body with some vicious body shot combinations. Rocky tried to take Canelo head on which he probably should have used as reach instead. As Sugar Ray Lerner said in the fight, it's like top of the tree here, top of the tree now. Canelo eventually finished him with a superb left uppercut, then left hook to the body combination, ending the fight in three rounds. Number 6, Callum Smith. Next up for Alvarez, we would have the WBA Super and Ring Magazine champion, and also brother of former opponent Liam Smith. Callum Smith. The fight would also be for the vacant WBC super middleweight title. Canelo had just come off a stunning knockout victory at light heavyweight over Kovalev, but the Russian looked to have exposed Canelo by using his jab and reach. Once again, there would be a big size disparity with Smith standing at 6 foot 3 and was definitely a big puncher, especially with his deadly left hook. The fight in my opinion never really flowed with Callum Smith not letting his hands go too often. Canelo in the end would really batter Smith up with Callum Smith really only trying to counter the Mexican with limited success. In the end, it would still prove to be a fantastic performance from Canelo due to his intense pressure on a much bigger man. Number 7. Billy Joe Saunders Finally, we have Billy Joe Saunders who many had as the man to potentially beat Canelo due to his slick southpaw boxing outpuncher style. I myself felt Saunders might not have enough to beat Alvarez in this fight, as the Mexican had not faced someone like this since Lara or even Floyd Mayweather. In this fight, I was very impressed by Alvarez from Saunders' team clearly fired up Team Canelo, with the Mexican putting relentless pressure on the Brit throughout the fight. Canelo went out into the fight to target the body with some terrific shots, before finally catching him with an uppercut which would break his cheekbone, forcing the Brit to retire from the fight. So guys, here's my final results for Canelo's performances against British fighters. At number 7, I have Rocky Fielding. The reason for that is just I felt Rocky was not the same level at all as Canelo, despite the size. Canelo is a devastating puncher, he's a stocky guy, he was just able to really just breeze past Rocky Fielding. It uh, wasn't a real challenge for him in the end, it made he made Canelo look very good um, by just standing in front of him. Number 6, Ryan Rhodes, I think it wasn't a spectacular performance. Canelo did some very good things in that fight with some good combinations. It's his first title defence as well, so would have been a bit of pressure in his hometown too. But overall, he managed to get the job done in that fight, but nothing too spectacular. Number 5, Amir Khan. I felt Amir Khan did very well at the start, but the fact Amir Khan was a welterweight moving up to middleweight is kind of why I put him around 5th. But you can't discredit the knockout Canelo did in that fight. Tremendous, and the way he just set it up as well. Number 4, you've got Callum Smith a legit world champion at super middleweight and a big puncher too and Canelo was able to just walk him down and beat him up for 12 rounds and really put him on the back foot not really facing any problems throughout the whole fight and um, so that was a really impressive performance for me number three I've, had, I've got his brother Liam Smith ahead of him and the main reason for that is I felt Liam Smith probably out of everyone in this list probably did the best in terms of causing Canelo some problems, making him uncomfortable by just getting up in his face and it seemed to work. However, because of that tight guard of Liam Smith, Canelo exploited it by going for those body shots and it was just tremendous the way Canelo manipulated Liam Smith's guard to find those body openings and knock him out. So it was a hard one between this top three who I'd pick. But yeah, that's, um, I think just the fact Canelo had to go through some problems in that fight is why I've just maybe rated a bit lower. Number two, I've got Matthew Hatton. Um, this was his debut for a world title and I think it's just a spectacular performance. He was 20 years old at the time, Canelo, and he just came out and just dominated Matthew Hatton for 12 rounds really with some tremendous combination punches. I have no idea how Hatton managed to survive that fight. 
but you know all credit to that young canelo and that's where the, this real journey to stardom started for the for the mexican number one has to be billy joe saunders his most recent fight against a british fighter and the reason for that is just because out of all those fighters i do believe billy joe saunders to be the most talented out of them all he also did cause canelo some problems as much as you look at the outcome he did have problems getting past that southpaw out puncher style but canelo's intensity and pressure he put on billy joe saunders throughout that fight despite getting clipped a couple of times he was able to get him with some tremendous body shots and finally take him out with that uppercut in the eighth round which forced him to quit or retire in that eighth round and you have to give him credit so guys that's my ratings let me know in the comments below how you would rate them personally i think canelo's done very well against british fighters as you can see he's had a couple of issues against some of them but overall it's been fairly comfortable i can't even see anyone else really beating him right now He's honestly that good. I think if he moves up to light heavyweight, you'll probably have more problems just because the, the opposition starts to get bigger and stronger and maybe his punches won't be as effective. But I'm just excited to see where his journey will go at this tail end of his career now. On that note, guys, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Really appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.